ever received an email from Donald Trump or Cristiano Ronaldo or Tom Cruise or some famous personality like that? I did. Well, if you did receive such an email, then it's probably not from the person you think it came from. I mean, I'm not trying to offend you or anything, but come on. Donald Trump doesn't even know that you and me exist. I'm from India, by the way. So obviously, the email is not from Donald Trump. It is from a fake sender, like a spammer or from one of your friend whose only job is to try to fool you in some or the other way. Anyways, but how did the fake sender send the email from Donald Trump's email address? Oh my God, did he just hack into Donald Trump's uh, email account? Of course not. Of course not. Well, what he did is just modify the email header and replaced his email address with Donald Trump's email address. That's it. Well, I'll explain. Firstly, we call this email forging or email spoofing, where a person can pretend to be some other person and send you an email. So in simple words, a spammer can send you an email from your friend's email address. And all this happens without without the spammer gaining access into your friend's account. Your friend's account is safe, but still you'll get an email from your friend's account. And that email is not sent from your friend. It is sent by some other person who is pretending to be your friend. Let me explain how the spammer actually does this. Email works on SMTP, which stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. Let's learn how the SMTP works firstly. When you're writing an email, you put in the subject, the message, any attachments and the recipient's mail ID. By the way, a recipient is the one who you want to send the mail, right? Okay, once you click on the send button, the client, which in my case is Gmail, is going to forward this email to the SMTP server of Gmail. And as I've told you, SMTP stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol and email depends on SMTP. So once you click on the send button, your client, which is Gmail, sends this email or forwards this email to the SMTP server of Gmail. And obviously, the email that you're sending needs to be converted to a particular format so that the SMTP server can understand where to forward this email, right? So the email is converted into a header, which looks something like this. Once the SMTP server receives the email header, it forwards this header to the respective SMTP server of the receiver. For example, if the receiver's email ID is a Hotmail uh, ID, then the SMTP server of Gmail is going to forward this email header to the SMTP server of Hotmail. Once the header is received by the receiver's SMTP server, which in this case is the Hotmail's SMTP server, it is again forwarded to the POP3 server of the receiver. POP3 stands for Post Office Protocol and 3 here is the version number. And POP3 servers receive emails from SMTP servers and they store them until needed, right? So when the receiver opens his email client, that is when he opens his Hotmail account, his client is going to pull all the unread emails from the POP3 server, like right? From the POP3 server of Hotmail in this case. And if you can remember, the email that we sent has reached the POP3 server of the receiver. So the receiver will now retrieve the email that we sent. So this is how email works in a nutshell. But if you can look closely here at the email header, you can notice that there is no authenticity, which means that there is no factor to ensure that the email is actually coming from a valid sender. You can see that there is a from field in the email header, which holds the email ID of the sender, right? We can simply replace this from field and insert any email ID we wish. And as I said earlier, there is no factor to ensure that the email is truly coming from the particular sender. So this means that anyone can simply tamper the email header and insert any email address in this uh, from field. So which means you can insert the email address of Donald Trump or you can insert the email address of Tom Cruise or anyone or your friend, anyone and you can send the emails. Whenever someone receives that email, it appears like the email actually came from Donald Trump, right? So in this way, anyone can pretend to be someone else. Obviously, this is a big threat because 
SMTP lacks authenticity. And obviously something has to be done. So some extra security standards are added. The from field of the email header is now digitally signed and this digital signature is added to the email header when the email is sent from the sender's side. So when received by the receiver, if the digital signature is valid, it means that the from field of the email header is not tampered or is not changed, which means the message or email is actually coming from the real sender. And we can be sure because if the digital signature is valid, then it means the message is not tampered. And if you don't know what's meant by digital signature, just give it a Google search. We will learn about what's meant by digital signature in, in an upcoming video. But for now, just understand that the role of digital signatures is to create authenticity, to make sure that a message we receive is actually coming from a valid sender and not from a fake sender, all right? So if the digital signature is valid, it means that the message is coming from the real sender. And if the digital signature is not valid, then it means the from field of the email header is modified or is changed. And so it means that the message is not, is not authentic and thus it is moved to your spam folder. This method is known as DKIM. DKIM uses cryptographic functions to achieve this authenticity. And we will learn about these cryptographic functions in some other video. So now you know what's meant by email forging and how it works. And please do note that not all mail providers employ additional security measures to protect their users from email forging or email spoofing. So yeah, you need to take care of yourself too. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up below. And if you don't like it, leave a thumbs down below. And also let me know why you didn't like this video in the comment section below. That will help me improve my next video. So anyways, subscribe for more awesome videos. Hit the bell icon if you did not yet activate instant notifications. And thanks for watching. Cheers.